Hi, in this video, we will see how we can create a simple tiny application which can calculate the total interest by using the simple interest formula. The equation to calculate the simple interest is something like that. Principal amount times rate of interest times number of years and the whole thing should be divided by 100. In this video, I am going to use Visual Studio Code as a Python code editor but you can use other editor also and I am using the language Python. So now let's get started. So at first uh, we have to take the inputs from the user. So we need to take three inputs. One is principal amount, second is rate of interest and third is number of years. And based on this thing we can use this equation to calculate the interest. Let's at first uh, tell user to provide the principal amount so we can type uh, the method input and then inside it we can type a meaningful uh, message like enter principal amount okay so by this line we can capture the user input for the principal amount and then after that we can actually convert it to a float type of data so we can use float method and we can wrap this with in parenthesis so it will be captured as a float number and finally we can define the whole data inside a variable suppose the variable name is p p for principal okay so i just typed it short p for principal okay so in this way we can capture the input from user so after capturing the input i mean the principal amount we have to capture other two inputs one is the rate of interest and other is number of years so we can actually copy the whole thing okay uh, and then we can paste it and then here is the total uh, rate of interest so for interest we can type like i okay like rate of interest and then we can actually we can make it more meaningful like rate r r for rate of interest and then inside this uh, like input we can actually change this line basically uh, so that it will be meaningful so enter like rate of interest rate of interest okay so by this line we are taking the total rate of interest then after that we have to ask user to put the number of years so same way we can copy ctrl c and then we can put it here i mean paste it here and this we need to change uh, to time time for t t for year right number of years okay so t we put it and then enter number of years we can type uh, or we can copy the this whole part ctrl c and then we are changing this uh, like a string so that it will be more meaningful so what it is doing basically we are capturing three inputs from the user we are capturing the total principal and total uh, the rate of interest and the total number of years that the user is expecting uh, to calculate the interest so this three uh, data we have to capture from the users okay once we capture the user now it's time to calculate the total interest okay so we have to use this equation as discussed before so here the simple interest will be we can type simple interest it should be something like that uh, multiplication of this 3 divided by 100 so here the principle is p and then times then rate of interest r then times then t t for time okay and whole thing we have to divide by 100 right so i'm doing this thing divided by 100 okay so this is the equation we did this now if we run the application it will basically give us uh, and it will calculate this thing and finally what we need to we need to print uh, the output of this program okay so we can print uh, like this uh, total interest or simple interest and then we have to tell what is the value right so we can type simple interest we can put the argument zero and then after that dot format basically we have to format here dot a for format and then uh, we have to tell the variable name simple interest okay and that's all so let's run this program and see whether it is working properly or not so i'm going to right click and then i'm choosing run current test file 
not current file slide run python file in terminal okay so it is running and it is asking enter principal amount suppose the principal amount is like 10000 okay and then rate of interest suppose the interest rate is like 2.29 okay and for how many years for example we are expecting like for 30 000, uh, 30 years and the total interest it will calculate uh, based on the equation and then it is showing us the total result so the simple interest is 6870 for this values like uh, for this uh, 10,000 amount okay so now uh, we did this thing now uh, now let's uh, make the program more modularized so I'm going to delete okay so more modularized means I will create one method and from the main program we'll call the method so that it can be executed very nicely okay so suppose the method name we can type uh, the method name is like simple interest uh, which is like similar okay so we can type a method uh, or function and to define function in python we have to use the keyword def and then after that we have to tell the function name suppose the function name is simple interest interest calculator and after that we have to type, put a colon and then we can put a pass so that it, it will uh, there will be no error okay so here we have to uh, pass three parameter one is like uh, principal rate of interest and time so we can type p comma then r comma and t okay now inside it we can actually calculate this thing okay so we can actually put it here and then we can actually return that simple interest okay so we can do this thing okay and then we uh, we don't need this line we can put a comment or we can delete finally uh, we basically don't need okay and from here we have to call this method and we have to execute this thing okay so here we have to change one thing here we have to uh, change this uh, before that we are using variable but right now uh, we are using uh, the function so we have to tell the fun uh, the, the method name so I'm typing simple interest calculator okay and inside it we have to pass this three argument prt so i'm typing p r t okay and that's all so we, we can delete this thing we don't need this thing okay and uh, this is more modularized i mean our program should be more modularized so this is the function and this is actually the main program here we are asking user to put three inputs and finally from um, here we are calling that method by passing this three parameter to show us the result so now let's run it right click and run python file in terminal and once it is running then it will prompt us to put the inputs enter principal amount suppose the uh, amount is like 5000 okay and then it is asking the total rate of interest suppose the interest rate is like 3.09 percent okay and for how many years suppose we want to calculate this for five years okay then enter and it will show us the total interest is 772.5 if you feel this video is helpful or useful please consider subscribing to our channel thank you for watching see you on the next video